Hello my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today I have a fun new project to share with you. I created this fall baker's basket for a swap in the Loaded Envelope Galore and More group on Facebook. I did do a video a few months ago on how to make this basket. I will be sure to include a link in the description box below. I used this Spiced Apple Stack by DCWV. I thought this was so much fun. This is an older stack that I've been hoarding and typically for most fall projects you see a lot of pumpkins and I really wanted to do something a little different so I decided to use this spiced apple stack it's got such fun vintage and kitchen oriented uh, themes in it that I thought were perfect for Thanksgiving and a fall basket this is my basket as you can see it is loaded with fun goodies I'm going to take all of these things out in a few moments but I just wanted to give you a once over of the project and this is what the front looks like for this project we had to create a number of embellishments an altered spoon and some other fun goodies I created these fun layered bows these were all cut out on my Cricut Explorer let me take them out of the package I made these bows using the 3D bow file on Cricut Design Space. I love this file because you can make the bows as large or as small as you want. I think this paper is so fun. It's got this rustic theme to it. And in the center of each of the bow, I just included a little rose. And I don't know if you could see here on the bottom of the paper, the apples. I also created these fun bag toppers. Let me take this out. This is the bag topper that I made. I love the way these turned out. This is a digital SVG file that I purchased from Lori Whitlock and then I cut it out on my Cricut Explorer. I love all the fun layering. There's three layers here as you can see and then I embellished it with this 3D bow here and I think it's so fun. I just love the country look to it. I also cut out more of these bag toppers in this burgundy color. We also had to create three three by three note cards. So this is the box that I created to go with it. I just used a little bit of ribbon and a cute little rose here in the center. And this comes off. And inside you have this cute little easel card. Now I used a crafter's companion die to make this and I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to put this together. Let me show you the other cards. This is another box. I love this little maple leaf here in the center. This one says one of a kind. We've got a cute little ribbon here. And this is a side. And the third one is in this little box here. This says amazing and on the bottom together. And this is the side. We also had to create an altered spoon. This is a wooden spoon. I'm going to hold it like this. Hopefully you can see it better. This is a regular wooden spoon. I did use Tim Holtz Distressed Stains to make the spoon a little darker. I cut out paper from the paper collection to cover the front of the spoon. And then I decorated the spoon with beautiful ribbons. Here we have a wooden veneer leaf. A little sentiment that says give thanks and then these are all flowers that I've glued in we've got two little sunflowers here we have a little apple little little berries and then fall leaves and I just love this bow spray here on the top I made this using my bow dabra and this is what it looks like on the back I think this is just a really cute home decor piece and you could easily hang this up 
We also had to include recipe cards. So instead of creating the typical recipe card, the four by six cards, I decided to use my graphic 45 tags because I really wanted to use this paper. I love the apples on the front of this paper. This is one of the banner tags in black. I used my die to cut out these apples here. I did decorate it with this ribbon and this red and white baker's twine and then I put these fun little wooden leaves on the top and then on the back I have the recipe this is for baked apple dumpling and when you open it up you have the recipe inside I just thought this was so cute and a different way to showcase recipes I have another recipe card here and I love this paper again you've got the apples and the grapes this is perfect for Thanksgiving and on the back this is a trifold this is a recipe for apple cookies on the inside you've got the ingredients the filling and the glaze and this opens one more time to show the directions we also had to include some other fun goodies inside the basket. One of them was to include a baked good product. So I've purchased these packages by Duncan Hines. It's called Perfect Size for One. This is a walnut brownie. These are individual servings of baked goods that you can make directly in a cup. I've also included some fun pumpkin spice chocolate almonds. I've included these fun pumpkin and apple scented air fresheners. I have two in here. This pumpkin spice candy. We have some fun felt and glitter stickers. I'm including these oven mitts. And then I'm including a matching dish towel to go with it. I'm also including these by Harry and David. It's called Moose Munch Popcorn. Very good. It's got dark chocolate and nuts and caramel and, and, and popcorn all wrapped in to one. This is a perfect full time snack. I'm also including this fall harvest tumbler. I just thought this was so cute and festive and perfect to put wa water or iced tea in it. I do have some other fun goodies that I'm including, but I'm going to save that so it'll be a surprise. So let me give you a closer look of the basket. This is the front of the basket, and you can see the apple theme. This says apple and gooseberry jam. Here I've layered these cute little sunflowers and berries, and these are little apples. These are mini styrofoam apples, and I simply cut them in half and put them onto the basket. And we have more apples here on the side. This bow spray I created using my bow dabra. I love the way this turned out. This is the other side. And this is what the back looks like. And here I have a little trim of white lace running through the back of it and a little plaid background here. And then it says apple cider. On the inside of the basket, I have it filled with this fun crinkly paper. This concludes my review of my fall baker's basket. Hopefully you were inspired by some of the items that I shared with you today. Please be sure to check out the tutorial for this basket as well as the easel cards. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now and happy holidays. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish